Ladies and gentlemen, the recruitment and use of children in armed conflict is one of the six grave violations identified and condemned by the United Nations Security Council. Ending and preventing these violations to improve the protection of children affected by armed conflict is the focus of my work and advocacy efforts as the Special Representative of the Secretary General for Children and Armed Conflict. Today, we mark an important milestone for the boys and girls of the Philippines. The joint action plan between the Moro Islamic Liberation Front and the United Nations on the issue of recruitment and use of child soldiers has now been fully implemented. As a result, I'm very happy to announce that the Moro Islamic Liberation Front, the MILF, has been delisted from the annexes of the Secretary General Annual Report on Children and Armed Conflict. I would like to congratulate the MILF for completing the action plan with the support of the Country Task Force on Monitoring and Reporting. This achievement is the result of a sustained engagement of the United Nations in the Philippines. I would like to thank specifically UNICEF and the Resident Coordinator's Office for spearheading the necessary support to have this action plan finalized. The MILF was first listed in the annexes of the annual report of the Secretary General on Children and Armed Conflict for the Recruitment and Use of Children in the year 2003. Throughout the years, significant steps have been taken by the MILF leadership, including the signature of an action plan in 2009 to renounce the recruitment and use of children, a commitment renewed in 2014 with the signature of a roadmap to completion. Overall, joint efforts have led to the disassociation of 1,869 children previously associated with the armed wing of the MILF. Protecting children from grave violations requires consistent efforts. Continuous access and cooperation with the United Nations and other child protection actors as stipulated in MILF internal directives thus remains essential, as well as the screening of armed elements through rigorous application of age assessment guidelines and disciplinary measures for any transgression. Priority must also be given to the reintegration of released children with their community. This includes access to services such as education and vocational opportunities, allowing them to become productive members of their communities and promote a culture of peace. It is my personal hope that the Moro Islamic Liberation Front may serve as a model for other groups in the Philippines and beyond to end child recruitment once and for all. The United Nations stays committed to support this common mission and stands ready to assist. Thank you for your continuous efforts to better protect the children of the Philippines.